up YouTube. Back again with another video of the FS Racing Marauder 110 scale desert buggy from Banga. I've had this buggy for a few days now. I ran it on nickel metal, I ran it on 2S, and I've run it on 3S. It's a fun truck. It's strong. It's built well. It's a great platform to start with. Of course, the aluminum chassis, the aluminum bracing. You've got a uh, metal gears, except for the spur, which is plastic. You've got metal diffs, which is good. Only complaint would be this servo. It's not strong enough. I mean, if you're gonna just drive around on a nickel metal, it's fine. But if you get to 2-3S, it's not strong enough. It doesn't turn fast enough. It's 4 kg. I would recommend an 8 kg. Um, the tires, the tires are decent all-around tires, foam filled. They do their job. Um, if you're gonna get serious, the racing, I'd go with maybe some buggy or truggy tires. The shocks are good. The shocks have held up well. They're dampened well. Um, they haven't leaked. I have no complaints about the shocks whatsoever. Of course, the ESC, the Hobby Wing style ESCs. You can never go wrong with these. ESCs. The motor has got great torque and good mid-range. And on 3S it spins plenty of RPM. The cool thing about this car is if you run it on a nickel metal, it's perfect for kids or beginners. And then if you want to step up a little bit, you go to 2S. And it's it's just fast for bashing and having fun. If you want to get a little serious, you put that 3S in there and it's pretty fast. Just keep an eye on the on the motor temps. Check maybe every five minutes just to make sure your motor's not getting hot. I didn't experience any overheating. I ran about, I don't know, four or five 3S light pull packs through this. But I'm just, you know, I've seen other people have issues. But I think it was with a different motor. This motor seems to be different. It's got a different color and a different wrap on it. I'm not sure if the turns are different, but I have saw other videos of people running on 3S and having heating issues. With this setup, I haven't. Um, this setup also, like I said, came with the Hobby Wing style. The other one I've seen comes with a 320 amp, if I, I believe 320 amp off brand. So this one's got a different ESC and a different motor which I believe is capable of 3S. I've ran plenty of packs, no problem. Okay, other than that, overall, I have to say, this car is a eight out of 10. Just only thing being that it's pretty slow on the stock battery pack and the servo is not very strong. But nothing that a two or three S pack, $20, and a $10, $15, $20 servo can't fix. Then that car, this car becomes pretty much 10 out of 10. I'm going to do a brushless upgrade. I've got a brushless system sitting around and I just want to see what, what it'll do. So that'll be coming shortly. In a day or two, I'll do a video. And then I'll also do a running video. And uh... That should be real fun, guys. I'm going to take it down by the water to a real nice open area and let this thing run. But um, stay tuned for that, okay? Let's get a little close-up, a couple little close-ups here. See where I bash the wheels a little bit. I'm going to hit some curbs. I have some fun with this thing. I was reading this. Let's see if it'll focus. I was reading that. Come on, focus in there. Let's see. There it goes. Yeah, I don't know what that's about, but it it made me chuckle a little bit. Anyway, guys, this is the FS Racing. Marauder 110 scale desert buggy from Banggood once again. Giving it an 8 out of 10.
Peace.